What's up, YouTube? Yeah. Ah, uh, so, welcome to another music reaction with me, Dyke Martinell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know why I like pointing so much. Point, point, point. Ah, uh, so today's recommendation comes from checking my phone, checking my phone, checking my phone, phone. Unlocking my phone, scratching my moustache. This comes from Amy Goodson, and this was in my, uh... The voice of my father, Marco Hiatala reaction. Uh, so Amy's given me a fair bit of information here, uh, but she has mentioned the best song Marco does outside Nightwish is from his first band Taro with his older brother Sakari. Uh, song is Tides, live undead indeed. Uh, so yeah, um, that's all we'll be checking out today. I, I definitely like the um, the Marco voice of my father. That was a really sort of emotional reaction. Um, you know, definitely tugged on the heartstrings. Um, and I got a few people in that reaction saying that the version of um, that they prefer the finished version. I actually checked out the finished version as well. Um, and from recollection, I thought the finished version was a little bit. Um, I think there was a little bit more grit to his vocal, where I think he sung a little, um, a little bit more clean. I've only heard it once, by the way, so I could be talking shit here. But I thought they were both passionate in their own way. Um, obviously, I don't speak Finnish, but um, if it's a direct translation, I knew what the song was about, and the you know the song obviously was a passionate song. Uh, so yeah, my point. Uh, that was a cool one. That was really really good, and I was looking forward to checking out some more Marco. Um, so I'm wondering if this one is going to be in Finnish. You know, that'll be cool. Um, but time will tell. Uh, yeah. So again, we'll be checking out Taro, um, Undead Indeed. Uh, Tides. I think the track is called Tides. Um, and yeah, excited. Uh, but before we get into it though, if you do feel like you want to subscribe, that's awesome. That will earn you um, some frequent flyer points for uh, the uh, airline Qantas. Uh, if you do want to uh, hit the bell, um, that will earn you um, uh, some flybys at Woolworths. Uh, and if you do want to put a like on my face, that will earn you a gold medal in the next Olympics uh, in the 100 meters freestyle. Nyt ajetaan nimittäin testata, että saadaanko teidät kyyneliin. Toivon mukaan, jos ei, niin sekin välttää kyllä. Saa olla muuten vaan murheellinen. Seuraava biisi aloittaa Janne Tolsa. Sinä nimeltään Tides. Pull it back to where the rock starts there. But I just want to say the intro was really, really cool. Um, loving Marco's vocals, like, you know, very passionate, which is nice. Um, I like the sound of, like, the organ as well. Like, it, it's kind of like it was, it was kind of like sad and foreboding at the same time. But yeah, no, I like the start. I'm imagining we're going to get into a more powerful part now, so I'm um, enjoying it. Just 
Oh, I see your face as if love eyes with the shadows rise. I love ending on a low piano note. Yeah, no, that was really good. Um, I, I I just love Marco's vocals. Um, and this one, okay, so in the reaction I did for uh, the voice of my father, I, I made the comment, and I'm referring to the English version here, that I'm like, ah, oh, that was a good... Um, it was good to see Marco do something not so um, gritty, um, and I love his gritty. But like, what I meant there is like um, his vocals in Voice of My Father was very, very soothing, um, and and this one there's a bit of both. Is what I was, you know, I'm getting at there. Like some of the vocals here reminded me of what Marco sounds like in Nightwish, um, but then you know he he does have like you know the the soothing low. Um, and I think it's really, really impressive where, you know, he can start quite low and he'll have so much substance in his voice. Um, and then he'll go a bit higher. You're like, oh, those vocals are getting a bit high and, you know, it's thinning out a little bit. But, you know, this it's got a cool vibrato now. And there's still substance. And then he'll go up another octave. And you're like, Jesus Christ. Like, I remember um, in the, the Phantom of the Opera one being like, holy shit, he can sing high. Um... And I, yeah, I, like he didn't quite go that high in this song, but he still went through all those like different stages. And um, you now where it's like low and then full and rich, and then you know, a bit higher and then still you know pretty full and rich, and then you know thin and out. And then when he got like um right sort of to the highness of this song, he was reminding me of I can't remember the guy's name, but he was reminding me a little bit um of the singer of Ed Guy, um his name. Let me just, uh, shit, I don't know, I can't remember. But just a little bit on the, the kind of the highest notes in this song. Um, but yeah, no, the vocals were awesome. I've, I've always really, really liked um, Marco's vibrato as well on his vocals. Like, I, um, I think he's got a very um, recognizable vibrato. Um, and like, you know, the vibrato and the slides and all, all that stuff he does with his vocals, I think it's very uniquely him. It's very authentic. Um, like his vocals sound very natural when it comes out. It's my point. Like it doesn't sound like oh I need to force this part of the song. It just sounds like he does what he feels emotively. It's emotive. I think so. You know, I think he does what um, he thinks suits the emotion of the part of a song, which I think is great. Um, musically, this song was really really cool. It was like you know slow and um, you know somber in its own way with the light keys and the, and the organ at the beginning was a bit foreboding but then as the song went on um, it, I, I could hear more like just the light keys of like I guess a sort of a sadness uh, and you know it's got that slow like like it's not a song to pump you up it's a song to make you reflect maybe it's the best description I can give it there uh, but that was really good um, what else like, halfway through the song, I was thinking in my head, okay, stop trying to think of what parts of the song you like, and and just, for the rest of the song, just listen to it and get, like, I was enjoying the song the whole time, but sometimes I get in um, the mode of, I guess, what a lot of reaction people do, is trying to figure out, well, this is what I like about this part, blah, 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 and then sometimes, like, you know, you, you kind of have to like, just let that go and just go, no, fuck it, just listen to the song. Um, and that's what I got around about halfway through the song where um, I was just vibing out at the end. So um, I can't think of any more points, I guess, is my point there. But I really like this song. Um, you yeah, know, that was cool. Uh, that was a really good uh, recommendation there, Amy. Thanks for that. Cheers. And if anybody else has a recommendation, hit me up in the comments below. If it's something I've seen, I'll, I'll let you know. If it's something I haven't seen, I'll try and get to it soon. That link there, that takes you to all my social media. Uh, but the main, uh, the main thing there is my Discord, where you can uh, interact with some nice people, but you can also make recommendations. Takes breath, punches out the heartburn, and yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye!